so guys yeah I'm throwing I'm throwing I'm sorry I'm not on a camp I know I promised a camp I promised it for last weekend I didn't get to it got some throwing knives getting on the board a bit more got to keep practicing keep practicing but that doesn't mean I am actually going to stop wild camping and doing a little bits and bobs of other stuff I've got she devil down here with me yeah she's here with me down I suppose you can't see her but uh, yeah I've got the dog out with me we've uh, had a little wander around we've stopped off I'm having a little throw there's a squirrel red squirrel moving around up above us up above the range here and uh, I want to see if I'll get a little bit of footage, I suppose it won't be clear because I'm only on my phone. And um, I've got a few bits I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up, I'm going to give you a little look see on, right? So I'm going to have a little throw and uh, I'm going to see if I can get some footage of this squirrel and I'll be back. Speak to you in a bit, mood 73. Red squirrel up there guys. There you go, there's your red. What's this? Aha! Ha 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 ha! Hello, sunshine. There you are. We've got you. Working your way around the oak trees. Lost him. Typical. Over on the oak trees, maybe a pop back out in a little while. Right, I'm gonna bring you in with this little beauty. This guy's it's an ideal little water carrier. Sun's in my eyes a bit here, there's not a lot I can do from this angle. Anyway, here's me <coughs> here's my little water carrier. Bushcraft Essentials by Helicontex. I've got it in there, MTP. When I first opened the packet, first thoughts, it's terrible, it's too small. For the price I paid for it, you can add her to Molly Systems. She's Molly Adaptable. This can come off, unclip. It's all heavy duty. I'm 100% sure. You can't see it on them because of the way they're fastened here the zips but I'm 100% sure like all of their products they'd be YKK and uh, yeah I'll show you what I've got in here shall I? right in here essential wise if you know you know if you don't get ready this stuff here silver birch bark scratch up the back ideal to start a fire with also in here in this side pocket see this stuff this stuff here i call it it's like a k-pock right what this is let's have a bit of a load out guys so what this is this is off of what we'd call around my way let me bring this up a bit sort myself out here right this is what we call where i come from it's off the ball rushes. Yeah, I know somebody's probably going to cry. It's not ball rush, it's sedge. Sorry, I do apologise. It's ball rush and it comes 
comes from the fridge, sedge family of plants. Now, get this coming in autumn, coming into winter, them brand tops on them, right? Nice size, so long, some are longer, yeah. You know what I mean, they're around the lakes. When they start opening up, they're giving you this fibre, right? See that? That stuff is ideal firelighting material, right? So there's two forms of firelighting material I have with me in this essential bag, right? The second thing I'm pulling out of here, you never know when it's needed. I've got an emergency. I've got, what do you want to call it? A space blanket. I've got an emergency blanket there. Routon's Deckard, here you go. That's what I've got, right? That's in there. That's um, 160 centimetre by 210. Right? That sits in the side pocket. Also in there, I've got same pocket. Could fit a bit more stuff in there. One dog whistle. Right? I've got a Lanks, Lansky diamond taper on there. I think they call it the uh, Blade Doctor. So there's your diamond file. There's your ceramics. And there's your steel with your diamond tip. It's magnetic as well. Clipper lighter. You never can have too many lighters on you. You can all run around with your stills, all run around with a bit of flint and a steel. It's nice, it's nice. But in reality, so there's a little mesh pocket in here. There's inside the side pocket, there's a little mesh pocket. They're in there. Goes, goes a soft, it's called a soft clipper. It's got a nice like a rubbery grip to it. This. It's magnetic. Next in. It's all right, dog's down there, she's having a, just had a drink. All dirt and mud round her jowls where, she, where she's sniffing the floor as well. And uh, let me put this stuff in here. So them few items come out one side, yeah? It is called Jura. I can't remember what day it is, to tell you the truth. But uh, it is called Jura. On the inside here. I'm carrying everyday carry world legal there it is that's what I'm coming with let me show you is that coming up anywhere I can get it Willemson's Danish Right, the other side, Lanskis. That's my everyday carry, that's my EDC, right? She sits in there when I come out, if I'm bringing that with me, I don't have to walk that on my belt or anything. It just slides straight in that pocket in the middle there. Inside, I've got, um. A 58 pattern Highlander water bottle. Brought me and the dog over some water while we were out. Sorry about the ravens, they follow me, they love me, the old ravens. You might not realise, you know, till you come out here and uh, I'll go out through the woods over the back this side. Nice, isn't it? So in there's a 58 pattern. 
cup by Highlander and a water bottle. Right? Net pocket in the top, up in the lid, there's a net pocket. In there. What we got, what we got. You could carry anything in there. It's still a, it's a tight fit for that. Fire still. Right? There you go, look at that. I made that, that's mine's. Right? You won't find none of that on your Amazon and your eBay and all of that. That's mine. I made that. Nothing hard to it. Paying 22 euro, 20 pound or whatever for a tiny little firelight that's about inch and a half, two inches. 20 odd pound, 22 euro and all that. Craziness in this world, guys. I paid 19 sheets. That's 19 euros if you want it like that. 19 bar. So that's 19 euros. Got some um, ewer on. Nice and dried. Cut a little bit. Mucked about with a knife a bit. Drilled a hole through it. Drilled another hole in where I could put me, um, get a paracord through. Anyway, sitting in here. I have the SPS. It's on loop tubes. 1745 tubes. I've got ammo. 10 mil still. It's still got room in there. Honestly, right, it's still got room in there. Because inside the net pocket, there's enough room that I've got spare bands, spare tyres, and a spare pouch. Now, see, if anything, you know anything about catapults, right? The pouch is a desperate measure. For me to snap my tubes and change over to the other pouch would be non-productive. People who really shoot catapults have been shooting them a long time and know what that is. They know, you know, it's something I, I, I picked up off of a couple of catapulters over the years, but one in particular is, yeah, I'll mention him. Sorry, guys, I need a drink of water, like I say. I'll mention him, and that's Gamekeeper John. You know, that, that pouch starts to mould to the balls. So it holds the balls nicely. Why have to go through all that again with a bit of leather? When you've still got a decent bit of leather there. Decent patch. Whether you, you know, some of you use microfiber patches. Roo pouch, same, you know. They're hard to get hold of now as far as I've worked out. I don't know anybody selling roo patches. But I've gone for a few of them. Lovely patches. Anyway. Back, guys what sits in there and like I say I can fit more in it I can fit more in it it's obviously got my lap lander in the back there between the web and it sits in there nice it's got a velcro bottom on here right and when that's velcro it's tough it's good solid good quality once that's on there that just slides in perfect. It ain't coming out the bottom. You ain't losing that. It's sitting there beautifully. So, dog's covered in leaves round the mouth. Dirty beast. But uh, yeah, so for what it is, money wise, at first I was a bit, you know, I weren't happy. I put a picture up on the Instagram and I was like, hello, Context, please explain to us how the, this can cost as much as it does, you know. But, Elegant Tex, Elegant Tex, love it, absolutely, it's worth the money, worth the money, uh, you know, uh, first impressions, when it, I took it out of the packaging and I was like, this looks like proper pony and trap, this looks crap, got it out, used it a few times, do I like it, mmm, like, the idea of it, yeah, Carrying it on itself constantly. No, because I've always been one of them people that just loads up my pockets. Squirrels. 
squirrels, woodpeckers. Here you go, guys. Let me do this. One minute, guys. Oh, typical. I was going to turn your round over here, guys. There you go. There's two of them out up there. Don't know if I'm going to get you. There's two flying around out here. Tess is watching them. Right, anyway, I'll bring it back, I'll bring it back. So, yeah, do I like it? Yes, would I use it all the time? Nah. Would I need it, would I use it if I've got a zip out? Hmm. It can fit in. It is practical. It can go with other items, you know. It holds other items. So, yeah, yeah. It's one of them with me. It's one of them. It's nice to have it. It's an essentials. Mm. It can carry your essentials. It doesn't mean the item itself is an essential. You know what I'm saying, you know? It's, it's good. It does the job. It's a tiny little pack mule as far as I'm concerned. It's lovely. Uh, would I advise people to buy them? Good question. Of course I bloody would. They are handy to have. Like I say, you ain't going to need it every day. If you want one that's every day carry, right, then you you obviously ain't going to go for a multi-cam. You'd go for a black or a grey, maybe the camel if you like, camel, whatever you want to call it, coyote and all of that. Yeah, they're handy. They're handy. They are handy. But to me, is it a must-have? Nah. It's not that essential. But... It's handy to carry essentials in. Bushcraft essential, Helicontex rating, personally. Quality and everything of the products, definitely up there at a 9 out of 10, and it's got to be, can't give it a 10. I'll give it a 9 out of 10, definitely. Who am I to say any different? It is nice quality, it's well made, well produced. I can't knock the Polish, they've got some good quality going on there, quality fabrics and everything. Um, like I say, essentially, nah, 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 small rucksack would be better, you know, but that's life, it's, buy one, see what you think of it, you ain't got, you know, don't take every word I say for it, it's handy, if I want, if I've got a skedaddle, I suppose I could, you know, I've got, um, funny enough, I went and bought that snug pack, um, Stasher, G2 Stasher. Now that can smash down and it's so small it can fit in my combat bottom pocket. Cargo trousers, right? It can fit in my combat bottom pocket and I can fit other stuff in there as well. Right? And like with this, carrying that, yeah, you could you could do a night. You could do a night. You could get away with it if push comes to shove. You, you have got hard love. You've got to go for it, ain't you? You could do it. So, yeah, essentially, it can be handy. That's all I'm saying on the item of that. We're done. I'm going to skip on a bit because I'm going to have another throw. And uh, I'm going to come back because I've got to do, do a shout-out for a fella and uh, give him some info on some mountain bike gloves. So, the mountain bike gloves... Uh, I've had them a couple of months. We've had some bad weather. I needed some winter mountain bike gloves. Some it waterproof. I had a look about here. I've gone through so many pairs of gloves. I've got a pair of leather Viper tactical gloves. I've had them years. But the thing is with them, at the end of the day, through them seams, dead. they ain't lined. So you're getting cold to them. Especially when my winters can drop down to minus 18 and below. But fortunately we've had mild winters and we've only gone down to about minus 7. So uh, anything can happen though because we could get it snowing here at Easter. It's nice and warm still at the minute. But anyway, here we go. Seal skins. Seal skins, what can I say? Product. Supply the British Army some of the best waterproof socks on the planet. There is no gimmick except no others. Buy silk skin. 
But here, now, seal skin, mountain bike winter gloves. There you go, guys, right? There's your seal skins, yeah? Funky prepper, geezer. Oh, you always have a lie. Yeah, I watched you last night. I had a little little bit of time on my hands. No, no, no. I, I see it pop up. I got me, got me, um, yeah, what do you call it? Got my notification and I thought, let's get funky, you know? So anyway, funky prepper, brother. Cup of tea, saveloids and all that. Dog and bone, you know, geezer. Anyway, right? You, you asked me on Insta, you said, you know, when you get a chance, Ronnie, <clears throat> let you know what these are like. Right. <clears throat> nice. Nice, nice hand shoe. Nice glove. Sorry, Deutsch coming out there. Hand shoe, Gella. Right, anyway. Nice glove. Could do with some padding. There's a little bit in there, you know. In by your palm, not your palm, but coming onto this part of your hand here to your thumb and everything. It, it could do with some padding in them to tell you the truth, right? They fit like a glove, so to speak, boom, boom. These are the medium, they're black and red, they're waterproof. Weather MTB glove, right? Or weather. As you should well know, they're made in China, guys. You ain't getting away with it. These... They gotta do something, <clears throat> right? It don't bother me. I'm not one who ooh. Gotta have my gloves on and touch my phone, you know. Logic tells me I'm taking my hands out of my pockets. I'm not having you know, take my hands out of my pockets to use my phone. I ain't gonna take my hands out of my pockets, put my gloves on to use my phone. Alone nanu nanu defeats the object. Right? You're riding your bike anyway. Take your hands out of your glove, sunshine, get your phone out of your pocket, use it. These, these here, seal skins, <clears throat> seal skins, step your game up, what's that malarkey about, says on the packaging, funky bruv, it says on the packaging, waterproof, can I vouch for that, storms, how many storms you just had, They've bashed us in wells, they've bashed us all across the UK, out to here. Well, I've gone through some heavy rain in these. Leaked? No. Three degrees Celsius, says on the packaging. Bang on. Bang on three degrees. Possibly lower if you ain't holding on to handlebars when your bike's been out, sits outside 24 hours, you know. It's, it's covered, but it isn't, you know... There's plenty of room, you know, you get cold down in that barn where I am. So I'm watching the, I don't know whether they're buzzards or whatever. I can't see their tails properly. Might be two kites. But uh, yeah, I think they want to pop up here, moving up here and breathe. In one of the giant pine trees. But anyway, gloves. 46 euro I paid for them. Sorry, that's suede there and all on the thumb part there. So, you know, if you want to go like that. Try and look intelligent when you're riding your bike. Oh, gee, jeez, you know. My word, bloody hell. Can you see the end of the tarmac? They're good gloves. They're quality. Love them. But if you're going to throw, tell me I've got to pay 46 sheets for them. Right? Out here, 46 euros. Then, for 46 euros, I at least expect a bloody bit of rubber to stay on them. You know, look, look how many's on there, and look how many's on there. And I take these out of my pocket, uh, I take my hands out, out of my gloves when I use my phone, right? So, <clears throat> personally, silk skins, don't bother put it on there, take it off, mate. It ain't doing no good, it ain't benefiting nothing. Truthfully, if you've got some lazy little urchin, some little toe rag riding around on a mountain bike and you ain't got... The time to take his hands out of his gloves and use his phone. Oh, saw winkles in this age we're dealing with. Sort it out. Don't put them on there. What's the point of putting them on there when you can see how quick they're peeling off? It's like getting one of them old Bazooka Joe transfers, isn't it? 
getting your mum to put your arm up over the tap. How long's it last? You might as well go and got a real one, so step up on that. But funky prepper, anybody else riding mountain bikes or anything, you in cold weather, you want an handy pair of gloves, you know, you don't want to buy some big, heavy, thick mittens and stuff like that. You ain't skiing or whatever, but like, yeah, for the, for the money, yeah, definitely silk skin all the way. Well done, silk skin. Just sort that little bit out there on the finger. Mush, if you want to take the tips off them, start pick me nose, I'd rather have that. Even though it'll make the glove irrelevant, because then they start to leak inside anyway. See, so people that buy them sort of gloves, I'll tell you the pair I had, right, while we're on the gloves. The neoprene, they're, um, what do they call themselves? Jack White's neoprene. Oak, woodland, whatever they are, right? They're oak pattern, yeah? Quality glove. Biggest downfall in that glove is, right? Is that trigger finger. Releasing finger when you're fishing, casting, right? See that? That's a downfall on them gloves because that Velcro don't last long on them gloves anyway. And saw it, someone riding past that front. And when it rains, they're all nice, lovely gloves. They don't leak. They really don't leak, apart from this damn finger. So that's something they need to sort out, Jack Pike. Any of you Jack Pike fans out there want to say anything, message me, message me. I, I ain't scared of yous. I ain't scared of yous. I know there's a lot of fellas out here I've got a lot of respect for on this YouTube. A lot of fellas, uh, you know, they're big in the gun scene and they're big in the hunt scene and all that malarkey. But tell the truth, guys, tell the truth. You know as well as me, they don't need that hole in that finger because it's bloody damn not good. Right, it's just not good. It's, it's useless, isn't it? It's useless. Anyway, bing bong, I'm gone. What can I say? Yeah, funky prepper, I'm back to you. Sorry, mate. All over the shop today. But funky... Gloves are worth having. Silk skin, sort out your little shredded bit. Anybody tells me that Jack Pike and Shoe, the glove with a finger thing, is better than what I'm wearing now, right? You ain't got a clue what you're talking about. You shouldn't even be a lad on the social media network. You're a clan. Love ya, leave ya, wouldn't want to be ya. I'm out.